went aboard a seaplane tender. And the first couple days after I got there, I was allowed off the ship, but only base liberty. There was an aircraft carrier on the next pier, USS Midway. I walked down that pier and I looked up and up and up and up. I was like a farm boy from Vermont. I'd never even seen the ocean. God, I'd never seen anything so big in my life. And I was so glad when I got aboard the Leyte and had a chance to serve on an aircraft carrier like that. Well, I had been in the Navy a couple of years already, and, and the Leyte was going to the Mediterranean, and she was short on boiler technicians. And I put my name down to volunteer like they tell you not to do, and the next thing I know, there I am, and Quonset Point, Rhode Island, going aboard the ship. It was mammoth. I got lost, I don't know how many times. You know, if you go on a modern day cruise, you you have trouble finding your cabin. Well, I used to have trouble there on the late day at first, but it get used to it real quick. It was a uh, very close-knit community. Uh, life aboard, you sleep on a I forget if there are four or five high on canvas bunks. So there isn't much room, there isn't much. Now in later years, I wouldn't have room to roll over. 